it really is no secret that I am a bio bio Broly. I mean, I, I Loki am a bio Broly Glazer, right? But Broly Glazer in general, right? Z Broly specifically. So of course, when we get a whole celebration center around my goat, I'm going to make videos and maybe asking for a little bit more than usual. I mean, look, it just is what it is. And this video is talking a little bit more about, you know, some recent events and me being a little bit concerned with the way things are going. And, you know, I just want your opinion on that. And I also want to mention that many people uh, thought that they were able to avoid the challenge of avoid the goat in yesterday's video. And I don't really appreciate that. So again, I'm going to show you avoid the goat number two. All you have to do really quick <clears throat> is avoid picking the box that bio broly is in if you can avoid that box that means you're good to go for today you literally have a two out of three chance uh, of you know walking away with this and if you do manage to pick the box that does have bio broly oh my god you got call lacking stop saying that you don't like him because you're clearly picking him for whatever reason and since you did you got call lacking today you got to subscribe to the channel it is what it is and you got to drop down and give me three push-ups again it is what it is i'll give you three seconds to pick which box you would like to of course you know pick all right here we go three two one if you picks picks what does that mean if you picked box number left that's definitely what i was gonna say congratulations you won nice if you picked the box all the way to the right congratulations you avoided the goat which means <laughs> if you pick the middle box you know what you gotta do i appreciate you let's hop into this so what i really want to talk about here is last year at the start of the worldwide celebration, or I guess at the start of September, after the worldwide started last year, we got uh, four easy A's at the beginning of the month, right? Two of which were Golden Week Dokkan Festival characters, and um, the other two were just like, you know, the, the older banner units, right? This year, we got Broly. Um, as the easy A for the beginning of the month. Now, I will say this, all right, to give credit where credit is due. We also did get this EZA. Now, this EZA, right, dropped during the countdown of the Worldwide. So I still count this as an EZA for Worldwide. It's not really just Broly. Like, if you look at the data download information and just see this Broly, or even, like, take a quick look at the Frieza, you're probably thinking to yourself, damn, like, dude, like, there's nothing going on right now. But they could have easily saved the EZA for LRSDR Tarlis and dropped it. And I don't think many people would still be complaining as much. So while, yeah, we didn't get four EZAs, I do think an LR EZA and a Dokkan Fest EZA, I think they kind of like balance it out just a little bit. But at the same time, you have to understand that if they don't drop many EZAs now, it's going to be harder to drop so many EZAs uh, or less realistic for that to happen. So let's say, for example, there's 20 EZAs to drop in a celebration. If part one only gets one of them, it makes it less likely that part two and three are going to have 19, you know, within both of them. It's just, I don't know. And it scares me because, as you can see, there's so many characters here that I need to get an EZA. Number one. I need this unit to get an EZA. I understand, all right? I hear you, um, that this isn't a Broly celebration um, themed thing, but so STR Turles isn't either, okay? I don't really don't want to hear that. On top of that, there's literally Z Broly in this card, and on top of that, they tend to EZA free-to-play characters right away. Thankfully, they didn't do it with this character, but we've been waiting for quite some time, and I'm still waiting for this, so I want this to happen. If you disagree, well, you can, you know, you know, I don't know, man. Just have a great day. Moving on, this unit should have also gotten an EZA. Uh, this is the banner unit to the uh, Int Broly. That dropped alongside uh, it, yeah, in Saiyan Day. And this guy actually has some decent potential. I mean, like, he is a really good hybrid Saiyan support. Um, if they just, like, imagine they just gave him, like, guard and, like, greatly... Like, he could actually be pretty decent. There's not really much you have to do to him. Um, but he could have easily gotten an easy A in part one as well. And he is literally related to... He is uh, movie 8, Trunks, and, and Gohan here. Next, we do have some bio broly stuff i really want this character to get an easy a again i do think he will this character will get an easy a and i think again many of these characters will get easy a's maybe even in the celebration but the point i'm trying to make is that all of these characters now have to easy a within the next two three weeks which just seems a little unrealistic which means we may not even be getting some of these easy a's that i think we deserve again including this one uh goten and trunks here from the bio broly movie remember bio broly will be represented in the celebration one way or another and i guess we'll have to see how that manifests but definitely this character deserves deserves an easy a 
And then, of course, we need super easy A's for these three characters. Super easy A's for these three, I feel like, are guaranteed to happen. I mean, it's it's very unlikely. Like, I would say it's very unlikely for this to not happen. But at the same time, it's like, it's possible. But when are they ever going to give these characters these? This is the Broly celebration. It's not like we're getting another Broly soon after this, right? So it's like, what? especially um, a movie 10 Broly, because this is movie 10 uh, celebration material. So I'm assuming if part two has a, a movie 10 LR, something like, again, a proper Gohan, Go 10 and Trunks family Kamehameha character, then it would make sense for these guys to get super easy as then, right? Again, I'm, I'm you know, not complaining. I think it will happen. Uh, but these are three that I think we definitely deserve to see. On top of that, I do think that this movie 10 Gohan also really deserves to get um, an easy as well. I mean, this guy is another character who I wouldn't say is supporting uh, hybrid Saiyans, but supporting specifically uh, movie heroes. And the fact that this character has the ability to not only be really good support but also be a monster facing movie boss category enemies because look 100 percent of stats if you just increase this to imagine you get this character like base 150 um supports and then you tune this up to 150 and then give them a bunch of other you know like this has to be one of those characters where they i guess what i'm trying to say is that restricted characters i think in my opinion deserve to be a lot stronger so they can make this base kit really good and then just make him super OP as a character. Something, let's say, like the banner unit for the uh, the fifth anniversary, if you guys remember that Trunks and Mai, the AGL Trunks and Mai for the Gogeta banner. Like that, was it Gogeta's banner or was that Vegito's banner? It was one of the two. Probably Vegito since it's related to future. But the point I'm trying to make is that that character was really good when facing Goku, Black, or Zamasu when that character dropped, but super limited, so you're not going to see it that much. Here, they could do the same thing. Make him really good uh, base kit. Nothing too insane, of course. But then when you're facing movie bosses, he just becomes like super OP. I don't see why not. I think he will get an easy A. He definitely deserves it. Um, this Krillin would have to get an easy A by extension if Goten and Trunks do get their easy A. The same way I believe Trunks should get an easy A um, now that Broly has gotten his easy A again from uh, Saiyan Day, right? Because this is the banner unit for Broly. And um, this character here is the banning unit for the physical Goten and Trunks. So I think if one gets an easy A, it would make sense for this guy to also receive an easy A. And then, of course, we need these two guys <clears throat> to get their easy A's. These are the movie uh, 10. Yeah, movie 10, Super Saiyan, Goten, and Trunks. Um, and again, they're not really that bad anyway. Like they're actually pretty decent. They could be, and these are free to play characters as well. Um, so you can definitely grind them up. Um, and then I think an easy for them would be extremely, extremely fitting. And it would be uh, interesting to see how good they can make these guys, especially again, now that they're free to play. Um, and to see if they could, I mean, the teams that they're on are so stacked anyways. Like, I don't think they're obviously going to have a spot on the team. But again, for free-to-play missions, for, for for events that require free-to-play characters, this could be, you know, of course, a really good thing. But again, just more Broly movie to, uh, representation because this is, again, movie 10. Um, and then moving on for extreme class stuff. Not, not a lot of extreme class stuff, to be honest with you. Uh, Broly definitely has to get his easy A. Uh, we know that's probably going to happen for sure. And then I'm wishing for super easy A's for these two. Obviously, I mean, this guy is probably more likely to get one compared to this guy here. But they're still both like really old. Like they both dropped. Technically, for global, they dropped in the same year. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, just a few months, not a few months, so quite a few months apart. Um, and then the EZA just you know a little bit later. But at the same time, it's like, come on, like they can. If it's probably unlikely they'll both get super EZAs, but it's like one of them needs to get like a super EZA, right? Um, and then Bio Broly, <clears throat> sorry, the Fruit to Play Tech Bio Broly just deserves an EZA. Uh, no, he needs an Awakening first, and then an EZA, right? So speaking on all that, look, that's one, two, three, four. I think, and look, these picks I have, I would not consider unrealistic. And on top of that, remind you, Turtle's got an EZA, and he's not even Broly themed. So I can really just pull up movie bosses and bring up as many movie boss characters I want that deserve EZAs, like STR Bojack, the AGO Bo. There's just so many characters. So instead of doing that, I've tried to be a little bit somewhat realistic and say, look, these are all the Broly-themed characters that deserve an EZA or super EZA. So that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 
14 characters that I think deserve an easy A in the celebration. Not even a stretch, in my opinion. And this celebration is going to be ending in about a month from now. So, with 14 easy A's in about four weeks, like we're going to need to see quite a few, like three of these easy A's. Um, every single week and that just sounds a little unrealistic so i guess it's like who's going to be sacrificed here like if i really had to like really really had to pick i would say this guy won't get a super easy a um i think these two could really get their easy a i think maybe not you um i really do think you and you get super easy A's as well i mean maybe not you there's no way they don't easy a you yet right unless it's like a, they're saving it for like a hybrid celebration or something and then maybe not you but even then that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten more easy a's ten more easy a's and only one of them really being an lr another one being a dokkan fest but it's just a super easy you know what i'm saying so it's like it's not like i'm asking for 10 different dokkan fest easy a's here so this is i feel like this should be easy to do i don't know let me know what you think Hopefully you enjoyed. I'll see you the next one. Merry Christmas and good night.